Some of the dirtiest and flood prone waterways, most flood prone waterways in our area, such as the Bronx River, are now on a new list, making them eligible for millions of dollars in aid. This announcement comes after a strong bipartisan push in Albany signed into law today by Governor Cuomo. CBS 2's Lou Young, live in Scarsdale along the Bronx River, with exactly what's being done. Lou. Yeah, Dana, you know, when we're next to the Bronx River, it's usually because it's flooding, and that seems like it's a couple of times a year. Well, a change in status for this and five other waterways in our area opens the way to a new help from the federal government, federal funds applied by the state to clean up and control the waterways. Take a look. They stood beneath the big dam that holds back five billion gallons of water at the head of the Bronx River, announcing a change in status for six downstate waterways, freeing up tens of millions of dollars in potential state aid to clean and control them. The state and county lawmakers say the flood-prone river parkways are a place to start spending. We could start, obviously, with the Bronx River coming out of White Plains, moving right on down throughout Scarsdale. The Bronx River, in fact, is one of three Westchester counties. County River is now designated as inland waterways, making it eligible for state clean water funds. The other two are the Pocantico River and the Sawmill. The Sawmill River has been studied over and over again. The Army Corps of Engineers yeah. come up with plans to dredge it and alleviate the flooding down at Babbitt Court and over in downtown Elmsford. It's been a, a nightmare since I've been a little kid flowing down there. I've seen boats laying on the side of the river, which is completely unacceptable. And each time we get these storms, it floods. Three up county lakes were also made eligible for state funds to clean water and make the shorelines more accessible. Peach Lake, Campfire Lake, and Echo Lake. Last year, the state handed out $177 million in grants. Next year, communities along the lakes and rivers in Westchester County can submit plans of their own and take a piece of that pie. If we can do more to retain water in the northern reaches, such as Newcastle, there will be less flood waters coming down to the southern ends of the parkway. The author of the legislation, Assemblyman David Bookwell, tells me that the local governments along the waterways have to come up with the plans, then apply for the funds. That includes New York City because, after all, the Bronx River runs through the Bronx on its way to Long Island Sound. We're in Scarsdale on the Bronx River Parkway. Lou Young, CBS 2 News. Thank